This video brought to you by RipTee.com. If you're ready to upgrade and try the most comfortable underwear and t-shirts that you've ever felt on your skin, make sure that you use the promo code DRONETECH to get 20% off most items. Thank you. Man, another day of this crap. <laughs> I really hope you all appreciate what I do, because uh, watching CNN and MSNBC has become increasingly maddening. You know, they... Um, they just, uh, they're just getting crazier as we get closer and closer to the election. Uh, you know, but that's what I do. I watch the media so you don't have to. So I guess I can't complain too much. But uh, today, in a typically mind-bending CNN moment, host Allison Camerata, uh, this is the same Allison Camerata that suggested once that Democrats simply rename socialism in order to sell it easier. Uh, but but today she was on the air suggesting that if Hunter Biden was peddling influence uh, at, at this company in Ukraine, that it, it's not Joe Biden's problem. You got that? No scandal there. And, and if there was, uh, it's got nothing to do with Joe. I just I find that really interesting that Alison Camerata and, and seems like CNN at large has that opinion because, uh, you know, wasn't it Joe Biden and Barack Obama that withheld one billion dollars from Ukraine? until they would fire the very prosecutor that was investigating the company that Hunter Biden is a board member of. Uh, this is like something you know that I would expect to hear from a public re relations firm, not uh, a, a network that supposedly is doing unbiased, objective news. Let's get real here. I mean, if it was Trump who was uh, you know asking Ukraine, to stop an investigation into a company that his son was a board member of and withheld a billion dollars, it would be the scandal of the century. I mean, just look at how they're reacting to this new, completely, seemingly, at this point, made up scandal. Because at, at, to this point, we've received no evidence or confirmation that Trump has done anything wrong at all. But in the case of Hunter Biden and Joe Biden, uh, his son was receiving $50,000 a month from this company, which is kind of weird considering that Hunter Biden has no experience in oil or energy. So how would he acquire this position as a board member of a company that does energy and oil? Uh, it definitely something that you would think a journalist, a, a truth-seeking, democracy-defending journalist would want to look into, but no, instead... What we're seeing, uh, at least from CNN, and, and let's be honest, it's all the networks because this is not a scandal. The scandal is that Trump may have suggested that they investigate. Biden does have a problem here, by the way. I mean, I, I have to say, $50,000 a month for Hunter Biden, clearly uh, to be selling influence because otherwise no one would ever pay him that kind of money for a company that frankly was pretty corrupt and has been uh, before and has been since under And um, is that Joe Biden's fault or problem? And, uh, no, but it's hard to imagine Joe Biden wasn't aware of it. I'm, I'm really uh, impressed with this guy that was on CNN, uh, the foreign policy expert, Ian Bremmer, uh, who, who straight up said, who straight up told Alison Camerata that this company was corrupt. So we do have confirmation that there was corruption within this company, a company that Joe Biden's son was working. He wasn't just working there. He was a board member, a board member inexplicably being paid 50 grand a month for what? The guy has no experience in that field. So why was he there? Obviously, any thinking person is going to infer from that that the company thought that they could get something from having Biden there. Uh, Joe Biden, his father, was the vice president at the time. So it's it, it's not a leap to think that there might have been something going on there. We know that the company's corrupt. It's being investigated. And Joe Biden uh, refuses to give Ukraine one billion dollars until they end the investigation uh, and i i apologize for repeating that over and over but i just want to drill home the point that the media is turning their backs to a scandal that joe biden himself bragged about doing so it's been out there for a while they've they've ignored it for a long time you're not getting the billion i'm gonna be leaving here and i think it was what six hours i looked i said i'm leaving in six hours if the prosecutor's not fired you're not getting the money oh son of a bitch <laughs> got fired and they put in place someone who was solid and and even now that it's in the news again which i think is pretty genius uh, again i think i don't think this is an accident i do think trump did this on purpose because the media now is going to be exposed because they're going to downplay it you're going to get instances like this where they're like well what big deal is that how can you think that's not a big deal but somehow it's a big deal for trump to allegedly 
ask Ukraine to uh, investigate, open up the investigation again, which he says uh, did not happen. And uh, the Ukrainian prime minister says did not happen. There was no quid pro quo. Uh, then on the other hand, we have this obvious uh, example of exactly what the media says is treason, some sort of high crime. So I don't even understand why they're protecting Joe Biden at this point. It seems pretty damning when you're, even your left-wing CNN guests are saying to you, look, this doesn't look good. And uh, where there's smoke, in this case, there's definitely going to be fire. I expect that President Obama, if he had known about the reality of this situation, would have probably told Biden get rid of this. I think it's interesting that on one hand, this guy admits that there's almost definitely some wrongdoing here. And at the very least, the optics are horrible. But he also goes and says, oh, well, if Barack Obama knew about all this, come on, Barack Obama knew about all this. In the same way that he's uh, rejecting the idea that Biden didn't know anything about this corruption and his son's involvement in this company and how, you know, how did this kid even get hired here? He doesn't have any experience. And he wasn't even hired. He's a board member. And that's another good point. To say that Joe Biden didn't know anything about it has nothing to do with Joe Biden. I mean, doesn't that just say, uh, just uh, show how completely incompetent he is? He doesn't know that the company that his son just magically became a board member on, even though he knows nothing about oil or energy and is getting 50000 a month for this position. He doesn't know anything about that. Give me a break. The only reason he's able to uh, uh, play dumb like that is because the major media uh, corporations are just uh, allowing him to get away with it. They're obviously, and again, I, <laughs> I'm amazed they let this guy out here. I have a feeling he won't be back. It all just plays into this current media drumbeat of impeachment. It's like every, every time they attempt to do this, it, it fails. And they just double down. They're just doubling down. And um, you can see it in, in all the coverage between the networks and the cable coverage. Uh, 73 times in one day they've called for impeachment. Um, and, you know, the media, they're very sneaky. They, they say they... They never outright say, well, we support this. Sometimes they slip and they do, but normally they're just like, oh, well, the Democrats say blah, blah, blah. And then they just parrot whatever the Democrat talking points are. Um, and, and that's why you're getting this, this uh, fervor. And they keep doing this with each story, each attempt. They just get nuttier, nuttier. And, uh, you know, it's just like a guy who's playing baseball and is swinging at pitches and just keeps missing it. And with every missed uh, swing, he just is swinging more and more for the fences trying to hit that ball. It's sort of the same thing here. And soon I think we're going to find out that this is yet another nothing burger uh, from the Democrats and the media. And they're another attempt to get Trump impeached. Uh, he has released the full transcript of the call with the leader. Uh, Breitbart is reporting that now, saying that uh, U.S. President Donald Trump said Tuesday that he will release the fully declassified transcript of the controversial call with Ukrainian's president, which is fueling Democratic calls for his impeachment. I am currently at the United Nations representing our country, but I have authorized the release tomorrow of a complete, fully declassified and unredacted transcript of my phone conversation with uh, the president of, of Ukraine. This may end up being another 40 chess Trump moment. It, it's as if that he actually trolled the press and the Democrats into thinking that they had something, and now he's going to drop the transcript be like, there's nothing there. You got nothing. And it's going to be hilarious seeing how the media tries to spin it. Uh, you may have seen that they're already saying, Oh, well, even if there was no quid pro quo, there is an implied quid pro quo from the president who is who has the purse strings is uh, making a request of a country. It's sort of implied uh, an implied quid pro quo. But this is nonsense because every president that ha has ever been has wanted something from our allies, has, has wanted something with the with the uh, country's leaders that we're talking about. That's how this works. It's a give and take. And so that happens all the time. Um, and. In fact, it happened with Joe Biden again, okay? Exactly what the media is outraged about. We know for a fact, there's no there's no question about it. We know that he did do that. Uh, the question is, was the company corrupt? Was Biden's son corrupt? Was there uh, influence peddling going on there? Those are questions that uh, should be answered and the media should investigate. But I think we all know they won't. They're just going to stay on, on point here. They're going to squeeze as much out of this story as they can. I predict uh, we can't read the transcript yet. It, it's not going to be released till tomorrow. But I can guarantee you, mark my words, it's going to show that there was nothing uh, unlawful done, nothing treasonous done, um, in spite of... Uh, that Republican candidate who I can't, uh, Weld, Bill Weld, 
actually calling for Trump's ex execution yesterday without knowing anything, saying that it's treason, execute him. So that's what we're dealing with here. These people are going to have another breakdown um, at tomorrow when this is tur turns out to be uh, nothing, and they will no doubt just pivot to yet another manufactured outrage. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, I will have a, <clears throat> one of my typical videos out tomorrow morning. Please like, share, and subscribe, and keep coming back. Thanks.